Brad, thanks so much for joining me. Obviously not the way that we wanted to see the season come to an end, but you said not to overreact in any way. What did you take from this year as a whole? Um, well, I thought, I thought we, we did a lot of good things early, obviously, um, to come together the way that the team did through the coaching and player leadership um, with, with the way our season started. Um, and then to come out of the gates in 21 and five and, and play some good basketball and not have Rob that entire time, uh, I thought, you know, was a really good um, kickstart for us. I thought our, our playoffs, obviously, um, were very difficult as they always are. Um, and at the very end of the day, we had a shot to go to the NBA Finals again um, with a home game in game seven. And um, there were a lot of things that we'd like to have back. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of things that we did really well, you know. And so from my standpoint, as I look at it, number one, I think it's, it's really hard to be in the mix in this league, to truly have a chance to be one of the last teams standing um, and to you know, give yourself those opportunities. And we have to improve to you know, go a little bit further than we did. You said during your presser that Joe Missoula is coming back. Just your thoughts on how he was able to navigate this season, stepping into his first head coaching role and just the impact that he did have on the team. Yeah, I thought, I said this in the press conference, he has qualities that are hard to find in a person. Um, his willingness to, to lead a group, to be candid and authentic, um, and then to be accountable when things don't go well. Um, you know, as I said in there, I think the having been through this myself several years, right, I know what the playoffs are like. I know um, how people are going to react after every game, you know, and basically based on the result. And so, you have to be prepared for that. You have to understand that, and you have to have some accountability to move forward, learn, and grow. And um, and I thought he did um, a really good job on the whole throughout the year. Uh, there are things that he'll certainly look at and try to improve upon, and uh, most certainly will do. And um, but this is, you know, he he really helped lead us through um, there at the start of the year and, and set us up for the chance to do well. In terms of being able to lead this team, what else gives you the confidence in him just heading into the off season and, and for next year? Well, I don't think people understand how hard it is to win 57 games in the NBA, and especially doing so without, again, your starting center from the year before for you know over half of them. Um, and he did a great job of plugging and playing guys when we rested Horford, um, when Rob was unavailable. Um, and I thought did a great job of getting the most out of our guys. You know, when you look at um, Jason and Jalen, both had amazing years. You know, Jason was in the MVP conversation, was first team All NBA. Jalen, second team All NBA. Um, and several of our other guys had great years too. Um, we can go down the list. Um, to be able to organize everything, to be able to get everybody playing at that level is not as easy as it looks. Um, and there's a lot that goes into it. And I thought that he did a good job with that. And again, he wasn't perfect. He'll be the first to admit that. But um, we have a, you know, we have a quality leader here in Joe. I want to focus in on the Jays for a minute. And just after the finals last year, they came back better, even more focused. And you said, again, in your presser that for them, if they get beat, they're going to come back. If they have success, they're going to come back and work. Yeah. What do you anticipate to see from them this offseason, just putting in that work, coming back for next year? Yeah, I mean, it's to me, it's, and Amanda, I, I don't, you know, I, I see the growth every year. But I, maybe I don't see it as clearly as others because I see the work every day. You know, I know what's being put into I know I see them every day. I've watched them for the last six and seven years, respectively, handle the ups and downs um, and come back to work. And so, again, that's what I it's one of my qualities I admire most about those two. Um, and I have no doubt that they will. The foundation of this group is good. You love the core as well. Sure. Maybe what's the biggest area that you do plan to address this off season? Well, I just think we have to look at everything and say, okay, how can we be a little bit better? Um, I thought our depth was, was really good throughout the regular season. 
Um, and, you know, it obviously becomes a little bit less of a factor when you're in the playoffs. Um, it helps you get home court advantage. And as I said earlier, we need to take advantage of home court advantage. Um, and that's probably uh, a couple of things that we'll look at. We'll look at how everything fits together. Um, we'll look at it in the construct of what challenges we may have moving forward with the new CBA and as we're all learning and wrapping our arms around that. Um, but I do think that, you know, we have a good foundation and, you know, we're very cognizant of that. Well, Brad, thank you so thank much you. for your time and uh, enjoy some of the off season as best as you can. Uh, we'll do our <laughs> it's best. It's hard to do. That's right. <laughs>